Hey guys, Kalila here. Welcome to another video. If you didn't watch my last video, I mean, you should go and watch that. But in that video, I started crocheting this jumper that I'm wearing right now. It is Aang. Let me, let me just show you, okay? This is what I made. If you watch the Avatar or don't watch the Avatar, I'm pretty sure you know who this is. This is Avatar Aang and I crocheted a jumper obviously <laughs> and this is the tutorial for it. So in my last video I always I said that I'm going to whatever I create in my crime and crochet videos I will make a tutorial on what I'm creating and this is it. <laughs> so this is a large jumper. It's just in one size. I don't make different sizes. If you want something to fit you specifically, you can definitely just make the ribbing longer or shorter and you can just like measure it up to your waist and see if it fits. And that's how you can adjust the sizing of your jumper. You can make it longer um, this way. What is this? vertically you can make it longer vertically so if you want a, a longer jumper like if you want it cropped you can make it shorter if you want you know but it, it may affect the way the actual ang face is but if you have been doing this for a while then you'll probably be comfortable adjusting it yourself this is a very detailed pattern uh, like when it comes to the face of Aang. So you will definitely have to pause and rewind a lot to get the exact numbers, but I tell you every single thing that you need for this jumper. I do have a written pattern down below if it's easier for people. I also included a link to the graph that I created because I drew out Aang himself on a graph and then I just transferred it I did it on Stitch Fiddle, so I have my link in the pattern. So if you get the pattern, you'll also get the graph. If you read graphs more than reading like actual written out instructions for a tapestry type of jumper. So yeah, I think that is all for my talking. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but if I am, oh well. <laughs> Let's get into this tutorial. Alrighty, so the materials you'll need for this jumper will be a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook, you'll need scissors, a stitch marker, or stitch markers, just get a bunch of stitch markers because you will definitely need more than one. <laughs> so stitch markers, you'll need a row counter or electronic counter, that's optional. I always say it's optional because you really don't need it. but I always like to keep track of which row I'm on instead of tallying it or like writing it down in a notebook. It's so much easier to have an electronic row counter. So I definitely highly, highly recommend that. So get that. And then the last thing you need for the tools will be a tapestry needle. The main color yarn that I used, like this color, is a carrot color. It's called carrot. So it's not like a carrot color. It's literally called carrot. It's by Red Heart Super Saver Yarn. And I used five skeins. Well, each one is two skeins. So two, four, two, four, six, eight, almost 10 skeins. But like I called every one <laughs> roll a skein. So I used four and a half. Actually, I didn't use all of the fifth one, but you definitely need a fifth one because you use four full ones of those, which is about how many grams are these? I forget. So, and I probably use about 600. 50 grams, maybe a little bit more. So that's what you'll need for the main color carrot. Of course, you can amend these colors. You don't have to use the exact colors I used, but this is, I'm just giving you exactly what I used. The next colors you'll need will be black and blue, preferably a light blue. You'll need white and yellow, and then you'll need a brown and off-white color. So you can see that there's white and then there's off-white, and there's a little difference, okay? The off-white is for his skin, the white is for part of his eyeballs. And those will be all of the tools and yarn that you'll need. You can use any weight four, like category four medium weight yarn. They're all 100% acrylic. And I use this yarn to like, I know it's not the best, like cotton yarn and wool yarn, those are really the best for garments, but I use acrylic yarn just to test things out to like, 
mm, how do you say, try it out just to see if I can make it. So these are like test jumpers before I go into actually using cotton yarn because I don't know, I, I, cotton yarn is like, it's thinner. You'll have to use a lot more skeins and it's just like, I'd rather use, start out with acrylic, practice with that, see how I can, you know, make something. And then I'll go on to using cotton yarn because you will have to buy like 20 balls just for one jumper. But anyway, let's get into the tutorial. So we're going to start off with the sleeves. Now for the sleeves, you will need to make a slip knot, of course, and you're going to chain nine. After you chain your nine, you're going to skip the first chain and cro single crochet into every single chain across until you have eight stitches. And once you have eight stitches, you're going to chain one, turn your work, and from rows two until row 25, you're going to work into the back loops only so that you can create a nice ribbing effect like this cuff has, because this is what you're working on right now, this cuff. So you're going to do one single crochet into every single stitch back loop only until row 25. Now, once you are done, this is what it should look like. And now you are going to turn your project horizontally and you're going to work into every single space across the top of this ribbing. So there's no specific stitch, just work into every single space that you see. And until you have 25 stitches. So work 25 stitches across the top of that panel. So once you have all of your 25 stitches worked into the top of this panel, you're going to chain two and we're going to start doing double crochet. So we're done with single crochet. From now on, we're going to do double crochet. So chain two, turn your work. Now we're going to start increasing in the first stitch and in the last stitch of every single row until row 10. Now we're going to do that because we need to make a wide enough panel that could fit around our upper arm. So this is where we increased and this is where we stopped, where I stopped increasing. So I increased until I got to right there and then just did regular rows, but I increased enough so that you know, when it gets to this part, it could fit around my arm easily. This is so baggy. <laughs> but yeah, so you're going to do two double crochet into the first stitch, and then you're going to double crochet normally until you get into the last stitch. And then the last stitch, you're going to do two double crochet into that, which is an increase. So increase in the first stitch, increase in the last stitch and that should give you 27 stitches across this first row so we're now on a new row so row one now from rows two until ten you're going to do an increase into the first stitch and into the last stitch and of course you're going to double crochet normally across so just do two single crochet two double crochet into the first stitch then double crochet normally across in the last stitch do an increase there. So two double crochets into that stitch until row 10 and then we'll come back. <laughs> I'm laughing because I kept messing up every time I was trying to say the stitches. I kept saying single crochet instead of double crochet and it was, it was annoying. Okay, anyway. <laughs> This is what it should look like. It looks all uh, triangly or whatever. <laughs> and that is the end of the increasing. Now, if you are doing different measurements, like if you think it's not going to fit, just take the take what you have and wrap it around your upper arm. So this part right here, wrap it around and see if it connects. If it doesn't connect, you may need to do more increases on in the first stitch and the second stitch until <laughs> what? Into the first stitch and the last stitch, bro. Until it can fit around your upper arm or until it's like the bagginess that you want it to be. But just make sure it fits because just just because I have these measurements or these stitches doesn't mean it's going to work out for you. So just make sure you always test to make sure each part can fit around you. Like, especially the cuff part. If the cuff doesn't fit around your hand, around your wrist, of course, make some more. And then, you know, you can go on doing the same thing. But 
Like I said, if it doesn't fit, continue increasing in the first and the last stitch until it does. And then you're going to do this next part. From rows 11 until row 32, you're going to just do one double crochet into every single stitch. You should have 45 total stitches for each row from here on out. So row 10, that last, that last increased row should equal to 45 stitches. And so now from rows 11 to 32, all of these should have 45 stitches because you're just going across back and forth one double crochet into every single stitch and do that until row 32. Now this is what your finished sleeves should look like after you finish off row 32. Just fasten off and cut and then weave in your ends if you want to. And make sure you make two, obviously you need two sleeves. Now that we are done with the sleeves, we're going to move on to the back panel, which is just, you know, the back of the jumper and for this one it's pretty easy it's just it's kind of just like the sleeve except you know it's not <laughs> but for this back part we're going to make a slip knot and chain nine just like we did for the sleeve and then after we chain nine we're going to skip the first stitch and single crochet into eight into the eight chains across until you have eight total stitches. Then when you are done with that row, you're going to chain one, turn your work, and from rows two until row 85. Now we have a lot more ribbing to do, okay? Let me show you the um, ribbing here. Um, this is where the 85 comes from. You're going to do 85 rows of this. So from rows two until row 85, you're going to work eight single crochet back loop only in each row so just like the sleeve work into the back loops only so it can create a nice ribbing effect and keep doing that until row 85. now when you are finished making this long thing of ribbing after row 85 you're going to chain one and then single crochet across the top well turn it horizontally first of course after you chain one and then you're going to single crochet across the top of this ribbing until you have 85 total stitches now when you finish doing those stitches 85 stitches you're going to chain two and now you are in for a long journey okay this is the part where you're you're going to be working doing the same thing forever and ever well not forever and ever but it feels like forever and ever right like when you're doing the same thing over and over like look at look the back panel you're just doing the same thing and it feels like it's forever oh my gosh I, I don't think that's just me. It can't just be me, all right? But either way, now we are on a new row. So row one, you're going to do one double crochet. You know, we're back to our double crochet. One double crochet into every single stitch. And that will be 85 total stitches for people who like to keep count. So from rows one to row 40, you're going to do one double crochet into every single stitch until you have 85 so 85 stitches of double crochet until row 40 okay remember that rows 1 through 40 one double crochet into every single stitch 85 total stitches all right all right now that your journey is over and you have finished the 40th row chain two of course and now it's time to whip out your stitch markers because now we're going to work on the neckline area count over 34 stitches and put a stitch marker into the 34th stitch on each side and then you should have a space like in the middle where that is where your neck or your head is going to go. Row 41, you're going to double crochet into 31 stitches. And you're going to leave the last two stitches for a decrease. And the total amount of stitches you should have for row 41 will be 32 stitches. So you're going to chain two, turn your work. Now for row 42, you're going to just double crochet across normally. No decreases, no increases. So 32 double crochet across for row 42. The total amount of stitches you should have for this row is 32. 
Now for row 43, you're going to double crochet into 30 stitches, leaving the last two stitches for a decrease, and you will decrease into those stitches. So 30 double crochet, one decrease. The total amount of stitches you should have for this row will be 31 stitches. Now for row 44, of course you're um, chaining two after each row, so I, I feel like I don't have to keep reminding you of that, just every time you do double crochet, just chain two after. So for row 44, you're going to just do a double crochet normally across. So one double crochet into every single stitch, and you should have a total of 31 stitches after that. Now you're going to fasten off cut the yarn and you're going to do the same thing for the other side so that you have equal almost v-neck <laughs> neckline I don't know what to call it because it's not really a v-neck but yeah that's what you, you should have on each side and when you're done with that you are done with the back panel the journey has ended and now we're about to start a new journey because now you're going to do the front part which is the ang part okay if you haven't done tapestry crochet before, well, you're about to right now. You're going to do the exact same thing for the ribbing for the front that you did for the back. So if you need to rewind, I won't be adding like the clip of me doing it here because I've already done it. It's literally the same thing. So repeat the same process with the ribbing and with the, you know, single crocheting into the top. And once you're done with that, we will start on row one. Now from here on out, I'm not really going to be like going into great detail or showing you like each color that I switched to. Oh, oh, the colors. Now you need all the colors. So get your blue, get your off white. Um, what else? Blue, your off white, your brown, your white, your black, your yellow, because, wait, okay, it's weird. Okay, there we go and all of that because you're going to need that for this part okay we're getting started on this part so get all the yarn get all the colors that you need so i'm not going to be going into great detail i'm literally just going to give you the numbers of each color that you need and you'll definitely need to pause it because it's just going to go like row one row two row three row four if I didn't do that, this video would literally be like two hours or more long. Definitely more <laughs> because this took, this took some days, okay? If you don't want to do that, feel free to get my pattern down below. It's in the link. And you also get a stitch fiddle graph that you can look at. You can double check the numbers if you want. It just turned out fine, so I, the numbers are good. <laughs> but either way, I talk too much. Let's get into this, okay? Oh, I'm also gonna tell you the the colors. So carrot is this orange color, okay? If you if if you don't get a carrot color, just know that when I say carrot, it's the orange color, okay? Just 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 so you know. For row one, you're going to do 85 double crochet using the carrot color. Row two, 37 double crochet with the carrot. 12 double crochet with the black color. 36 double crochet with the carrot color. Row three, 36 double crochet with the carrot, one double crochet black, 10 double crochet yellow, one double crochet black, 37 double crochet carrot. Row four, 36 double crochet carrot, one double crochet black, two double crochet yellow, eight double crochet black, two double crochet yellow, one double crochet black, 35 double crochet carrot. Row five, 34 double crochet carrot, one double crochet black, two double crochet yellow, one double crochet black, eight double crochet off white, one double crochet black, two double crochet yellow, one double crochet black, 35 double crochet carrot. Row six, 34 double crochet carrot, one double crochet black, two double crochet yellow, one double crochet black, two double crochet off white, six double crochet black, two double crochet off white, one double crochet black, two double crochet yellow, one double crochet black, 33 double crochet carrot. 
row seven, 33 double crochet carrot, one double crochet black, three double crochet yellow, two double crochet black, six double crochet off white, two double crochet black, three double crochet yellow, one double crochet black, and 34 double crochet carrot. Row eight, 34 double crochet carrot, one double crochet black, two double crochet yellow, two double crochet black, eight double crochet off white, two double crochet black, two double crochet yellow, one double crochet black, and 33 double crochet carrot. Row nine, 33 double crochet carrot, three double crochet black, 12 double crochet off white, three double crochet black, and 34 double crochet carrot. Row 10, 35 double crochet carrot, one double crochet black, four double crochet off white, five double crochet black, five double crochet off white, one double crochet black, and 34 double crochet carrot. Row 11, 33 double crochet carrot, one double crochet black, five double crochet off white, two double crochet black, nine double crochet off white, one double crochet black, and 34 double crochet carrot. Row 12, 34 double crochet carrot, one double crochet black, 10 double crochet off white, one double crochet black, five double crochet off white, one double crochet black, and 33 double crochet carrot. Row 13, 32 double crochet carrot, one double crochet black, 18 double crochet off white, one double crochet black, and 33 double crochet carrot. Row 14, 32 double crochet carrot, one double crochet black, 19 double crochet off white, one double crochet black, and 32 double crochet carrot. Row 15, 29 double crochet carrot, three double crochet black, nine double crochet off white, two double crochet black, nine double crochet off white, four double crochet black, and 29 double crochet carrot. Row 16, 28 double crochet carrot, two double crochet black, one double crochet off white, one double crochet black, 11 double crochet off white, one double crochet black, nine double crochet off white, one double crochet black, one double crochet off white, three double crochet black, and 27 double crochet carrot. Row 17, 26 double crochet carrot, two double crochet black, two double crochet off white, one double crochet black, three double crochet off white, five double crochet black, five double crochet off white, five double crochet black, four double crochet off white, one double crochet black, two double crochet off white, two double crochet black, and 27 double crochet carrot. Row 18, 26 double crochet carrot, two double crochet black, two double crochet off white, two double crochet black, four double crochet off white, one double crochet white, three double crochet brown, seven double crochet off white, three double crochet brown, one double crochet white, three double crochet off white, one double crochet black, three double crochet off white, two double crochet black, and 25 double crochet carrot. Row 19, 
25 double crochet carrot, one double crochet black, two double crochet off white, one double crochet black, one double crochet off white, one double crochet black, three double crochet off white, one double crochet white, two double crochet brown, one double crochet white, seven double crochet off white, one double crochet white, two double crochet brown, one double crochet white, five double crochet off white, one double crochet black, three double crochet off white, one double crochet black, and 26 double crochet carrot. Row 20, 25 double crochet carrot, two double crochet black, two double crochet off white, two double crochet black, five double crochet off white, one double crochet white, one double crochet brown, two double crochet white, seven double crochet off white, two double crochet white, one double crochet brown, one double crochet white, four double crochet off white, three double crochet black, one double crochet off white, two double crochet black, and 24 double crochet carrot. Row 21, 24 double crochet carrot, one double crochet black, four double crochet off white, one double crochet black, three double crochet off white, five double crochet black, three double crochet off white, one double crochet black, three double crochet off white, five double crochet black, four double crochet off white, three double crochet black, two double crochet off white, one double crochet black, and 25 double crochet carrot. Row 22, 25 double crochet carrot, two double crochet black, three double crochet off white, one double crochet black, three double crochet off white, two double crochet black, six double crochet off white, three double crochet black, six double crochet off white, two double crochet black, two double crochet off white, two double crochet black, two double crochet off white, two double crochet black, and 24 double crochet carrot. Row 23, 25 double crochet carrot, two double crochet black, one double crochet off white, two double crochet black, eight double crochet off white, two double crochet black, three double crochet blue, two double crochet black, nine double crochet off white, one double crochet black, two double crochet off white, two double crochet black, and 26 double crochet carrot. Row 24, 27 double crochet carrot, four double crochet black, eight double crochet off white, two double crochet black, five double crochet blue, two double crochet black, seven double crochet off white, four double crochet black, and 26 double crochet carrot. Row 25, 29 double crochet carrot, one double crochet black, six double crochet off white, two double crochet black, seven double crochet blue, two double crochet black, six double crochet off white, two double crochet black, and 30 double crochet carrot. Row 26, 31 double crochet carrot, one double crochet black, five double crochet off white, two double crochet black, nine double crochet blue, two double crochet black, 
five double crochet off white, one double crochet black, and 29 double crochet carrot. Row 27, 29 double crochet carrot, two double crochet black, four double crochet off white, five double crochet black, three double crochet blue, five double crochet black, four double crochet off white, two double crochet black, and 31 double crochet carrot. Row 28, 32 double crochet carrot, one double crochet black, eight double crochet off white, one double crochet black, three double crochet blue, one double crochet black, seven double crochet off white, two double crochet black, 30 double crochet carrot. Row 29, 31 double crochet carrot, one double crochet black, seven double crochet off white, one double crochet black, three double crochet blue, one double crochet black, seven double crochet off white, two double crochet black, and 32 double crochet carrot. Row 30, 33 double crochet carrot, two double crochet black, six double crochet off white, one double crochet black, three double crochet blue, one double crochet black, six double crochet off white, two double crochet black, and 31 double crochet carrot. Row 31, 32 double crochet carrot, two double crochet black, five double crochet off white, one double crochet black, three double crochet blue, one double crochet black, five double crochet off white, two double crochet black, and 34 double crochet carrot. Row 32, 35 double crochet carrot, two double crochet black, four double crochet off white, one double crochet black, three double crochet blue, one double crochet black, four double crochet off white, two double crochet black, and 33 double crochet carrot. Row 33, 34 double crochet carrot, two double crochet black, three double crochet off white, one double crochet black, three double crochet blue, one double crochet black, three double crochet off white, two double crochet black, and 36 double crochet carrot. Row 34, 37 double crochet carrot, 13 double crochet black, and 35 double crochet carrot. Uh, that is the end of Ang. Bro, I am so tired. It felt like forever saying all of those. Oh my gosh, okay. We're not done yet, but we're done with Ang. Done with all the colors. You can put them up except for the carrot color, okay? Now, for rows 35 until row 40, you're just going to do one double crochet into every single stitch for 85 stitches total. So just the same thing with the carrot color, only the carrot color, just one double crochet into every single stitch until row 40. For row 41, mark your 34th stitch on each side, put a stitch marker into the 34th stitch, just like we did for the back panel, just so you can know where you're gonna stop. So for row 41, you're going to do 31 double crochet across and one decrease. Row 42, you're going to do 32 stitches all the way across, no increasing, no decreasing, just normal double crochet. And then you should have 32 stitches on that row as well. Chain two, turn your work. Row 43, you're going to do 30 double crochet and then you're going to decrease in the 31st and 32nd stitch. You have two stitches left. So 30 double crochet, one decrease. When you're done with that decrease, chain two, 
turn your work. You're on row 44 now. For row 44, you're going to just do 31 double crochet across. Oh, I forgot to say, the ending of that row 43, you should have 31 total stitches. And now row 44, when you do all of your regular double crochet, no increasing, no decreasing, just one double crochet into every single stitch, you should have 31 total stitches. And now you can chain one, fasten off your work, snip that yarn off and weave in your ends. Do the same thing on the other side that you did to the side that you just finished, okay? Alrighty, now you are going to get your back panel and your front panel and you're going to start connecting them together. So now that we're done making everything, it's time to turn this into a jumper, okay? So get your back panel, lay it out, get your front panel, lay it out. Make sure you're on the wrong side because we're gonna end up flipping it over so that it shows this side, which is the right side or the correct side. Line them up and you're going to get your stitch markers. I like to get my stitch markers and I always, always like to make sure everything is connected together so that it doesn't move. Now you're going to get your carrot colored yarn, attach it to the panel, and you're going to just slip stitch across the top of the shoulder panel, connecting the front and the back together. You're going to do that on both sides. Alrighty, now this is what your panels should look like when they're slip stitched together. You're going to grab one of your sleeves, make sure it's folded up to look like a, you know, an actual sleeve and line it up to the top part of your panels. You're going to get your stitch markers and you're going to attach the top part of the sleeve to the panel and then the bottom part of the sleeve to the panel just so that the sleeve is connected. And now you're going to open up your project like so and lay it out flat just like this once it's flat like that you're going to pull up your panel and your sleeve until they're like flush against each other until you can see the line where you're going to need to slip stitch across then you're going to grab your yarn and you're going to connect it to the panels and slip stitch across this way as well. Now you're going to do the exact same thing on the other side of your panel, of course. So line up your sleeve, connect them to the front panel, open it out, pull it up and slip stitch across the top of that sleeve and panel part as well. Once you're done slip stitching the sleeves to your panels, you're going to just uh, close it. I don't know how to explain this, but you're just going to uh, fold it, close it up until it looks like a sweater, like adjust the sleeves until they're like fitted against each other and, and the bottom parts of your panels and just make it look like a sweater even though like it's not slip stitched together, so it's not really a sweater or a jumper. Just keep adjusting it, make it look like one. Grab your yarn, connect it to the bottom of the panel, and then slip stitch along the side of the panel. So the side of the panel, under the armpit area, and until the sleeve area. And do the same thing on the other side as well. Once you're finished slip stitching everything together, you should have a full sweater, okay? Minus the collar, of course, we're not there yet. but. You should have a full sweater. This is what it looks like all connected. And now you're going to turn your sweater or your jumper, whatever you call it, inside out. So pull through the sleeves and everything and flip it so that it's on the right side or the correct side. I like to say correct side as well because if you say right side, like some people will think like, oh, the right side? Like, no, like the correct side. <laughs> and now you're going to grab your yellow yarn. It is. I use the same color that I use for Aang's color for my color, just so like we can twin. <laughs> but grab that and you're going to do one single crochet around the collar area. You can go into any space, any stitch. There's no specific amount for this part. You just freehand it. That's what I did, just freehand it. Just do a single crochet around until you have as many single crochets that can go around your collar, okay? Now that you have single crocheted around the collar, slip stitch into the first single crochet that you made. For row one, you're going to chain six. Yes, so we're gonna chain for the collar. This is my first time making a collar like this and I was like, what the heck am I doing? <laughs> but it turned out fine, so chain six. You can turn your project a little bit just so that it's easier to work because you're going to single crochet down that chain you're gonna have five stitches. Now, slip stitch into the next 
two stitches. Once you've done that, you can turn your work and then you are going to single crochet. So now we're on row two. Single crochet into the back loops only for five stitches, of course, and then chain one, turn your work. And for row three, you're going to do five single crochet, back loops only, and then slip stitch into the next two stitches. You're going to repeat that for the entire round around your collar. There's no certain amount of stitches. Just keep on doing that until you have no stitches left, okay? So once you have done that, you will have like a little space in between when you meet up with the other end. You, If you don't have one, perfect. If you do have one like me, here's what you can do. Go from the inside of your collar, pull it together, and then just sew along the line. I like to wrap my yarn around my needle once and then pull through just so it can knot every single time. And I keep doing that until I have sewn my collar together and it looks all nice and clean and finished just like this. So if you did that, congratulations. You have now finished your sweater. You can weave in those ends or weave in whatever ends that you missed or that you skipped or saved. And this is the sweater that you should have. The Ang sweater is now finished. Your collar looks good. Ang looks good. Your sleeves and everything looks good. I feel like this was a very, like it's not difficult, but it was just so much. Oh my gosh, writing out this pattern was, oh my gosh, it was the worst. I enjoy writing patterns but this one just took forever. Oh my gosh, it was just numbers and numbers. And I was like, cause the way I do it, I translate from the graph that I drew out, right? So then I write a pattern based on what I drew out. And then I had to count individually, make sure the count is right. And I didn't even double check after I wrote out the pattern. I was like, if this, if this jumper comes out right, then my numbers are correct and it seems like my numbers are correct. So anyway, if you have made it this far, congratulations, because now you have a pretty cute jumper that everyone's gonna ask you where you got it from and you can say proudly that you made it yourself. Oh, I love that. Bragging rights, you can make your own clothes. Hello, this is awesome. And it's Aang, like, come on. Anyway, let me know who else you guys want me to like draw out and make on, you know, jumpers and stuff. I love jumpers. So I'll, I'm just going to be making jumpers. All right. Jumpers, sweaters, hoodies. I love that. <laughs> That's all I wear. T-shirts. Ooh, I can make a shirt. I don't know how to do that, but I can learn. I can practice. All right. Any, anyway, let me know what other kind of tapestry graphic jumpers you want me to make, who you want to be on it. And I can try and draw it out and create it, make a tutorial on it write out a pattern for it. But if you guys did enjoy creating this with me, please give it a like, subscribe, follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter. I post all my stuff on there. If you did make it, tag me on Instagram so I can share it to my story and share, you know, your lovely creation that you created to all of my other peeps on there. And I'm so tired if my energy is like, is because bro, filming this video just took it out of me, okay? Like, golly, no, no. Reading, reading the Aang part, I felt like a robot. Oh, if you hear my voice, like I sound like a robot. I don't sound real. I mean, I don't know if I sound real or not. I haven't edited this yet, but just listening to myself drone on and on, I was just like, ah. Oh! Anyway, <laughs> I talk too much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, okay, bye.